Hi, everybody. I'd like to discuss a bit about display characterization in two videos. Let's start with some important terms. Calibration means adjusting a display's behavior to match a standard, such as RGB or sRGB. In this case, the display would correctly display an image encoded in sRGB. This is valuable in many commercial environments from printing to video production. Characterization means building a model that describes its behavior, thus colorimetric characterization describes how a display makes color. This frees us from display standards and is very valuable for color science research and experiments. For us, we're interested in the relationship between the input RGB vectors and the output XYZ tristimulus value vectors. This means that we can predict the XYZ output of a given RGB input, a forward model. More importantly, an inverse or reverse model allows us to compute the RGB needed to accurately generate a desired XYZ output. Characterization means building the model and verifying that it fits well. We could approach this as a black box, which means we don't know or maybe don't care what is happening inside the display, and we simply measure all possible inputs and outputs. However, a structured model is more robust if we know the display behaves according to our expectations. We want to make a model that separates the linear part, allowing a linear matrix computation from the nonlinear part an EOTF or electro-optical transfer function that describes how the optical or light output relates to the electric or digital input. Using this model requires some assumptions. Three channels or primaries, for example, red, green, and blue. Channel independence, also known as additivity, which means that the output of one channel is unaffected by the output of another. They don't interact. Primaries with constant chromaticity, also known as spectral scalability, which means that the chromaticity of the primary does not change with its intensity, and constant black level, which can be treated as a linear offset. This is important because LCDs and CRTs typically have a black level that is not truly black because of light leaking through the liquid crystal or because of flare. About the nonlinearity, what we mean by that is that the input values are nonlinearly related to the physical luminance of the light output. Here's a typical relationship. If it is a smooth curve that can be described as a power law, that's handy. And often the exponent of this power law is called the gamma of a display. Otherwise, an empirical lookup table or LUT, L-U-T, is a good general approach. There is a separate LUT for each channel. By the way, a LUT is literally a lookup. For a given input, we simply look up the corresponding output. We generally pre-compute LUT values for all possible inputs by interpolating a set of physical measurements. Because of the nonlinearity, we have to be specific about our RGB values. The input RGB values, like what's in your image file or what you see in Photoshop, are code values or digital counts, and these are nonlinear, sometimes called gamma encoded values. If we push the nonlinear RGB code values through the lookup tables, meaning using them as a transfer function, the resulting values are RGB intensities. Here, intensity is linear, linearly related to the luminance of the light output. We have to do all of our matrix computations with linear values. So once we confirm that our assumptions hold, the model consists of three components. A three by three matrix containing the XYZ tristimulus values of the three primaries. A three value vector of the XYZ tristimulus values of the black level or flare and a lookup table or LUT for each channel describing the nonlinearity. We can think of the linear matrix part of the model as a linear combination of primaries. For example, if we have primaries, red, green, and blue, shown here at full intensity, we can multiply these full intensity primaries by scalar values, which are linear RGB intensities, to get proportional values of each primary, which add up to a color. Here, a nice beige. Note that I have broken these out spatially, which may look weird, but it's actually what happens in most displays at a much smaller scale. Each pixel is made up of separate regions of red, green, and blue, and the intensity of each is modulated separately to create the many colors. But we must not forget that the linear math can only be done with linear RGB intensities, not the nonlinear RGB code values. The LUT, representing the EOTF, allows us to transform back and forth between linear and nonlinear RGB values. In the next video, I'll talk about how we do the necessary measurements. Thanks.